Hey guys, I just want to let you know, I, I left some JavaScript for this particular problem and a couple others on my blog. So you just plug in your numbers in the JavaScript and click Calculate, and it'll calculate the resistances for you. And I left it there, just uh, I wanted to see what you guys thought. So leave some comments, let me know what you think, put it in the comments down on my blog, and let me know what you think about the JavaScript. Thanks a lot. Now to get to the question. What is the resistance of a light bulb that uses an average power of 60 watts when connected to a 60 hertz power source having a maximum voltage of 128 volts? I right, said so the question is asking us for the resistance. And so when we want to find resistance, if it gives us a voltage and it gives us a power and it also gives us a frequency, but we really don't need to know that. So I'm going to start out with the one equation that's always going to give me a resistance, and that's Ohm's law. So you got delta V uh, is equal to I times Z, the impedance. So in the past, we used the equation that, uh, that delta V was equal to IR, the resistance. Well, there's, that only works whenever there is no uh, capacitor and and uh, inductor attached to an oscillating circuit, an AC circuit. Whenever there is, the general case of Ohm's law works. So where Z is equal to the square root of the resistance squared plus the, uh, react the inductive reactance uh, minus the capacitive reactance squared. And in our case, there is no inductor or capacitor attached, so we could use the general case of Ohm's law. We'll end up with the, the square root of R squared, which is going to equal IR. If we go ahead and solve for R, we'll get that the resistance is equal to delta V over the current. Now, this equation will work uh, if we use, uh, let's say, delta V max and I max, so the maximum voltage and maximum current, or we could use the the delta V RMS and I RMS, the root mean squared current and root mean squared voltage. But we can't use both. We have to use one or the other. Now, we're given average power. So if you look over here, average power. And the, the, for, the formula for average power is, uh, is the I RMS, RMS times delta V RMS times the cosine of theta, or the cosine of, we'll say the cosine of phi. And so since we're given uh, P average, we want to use RMS current and RMS voltage. Next, we're going to, so we're going to solve for the current. So uh, we got P, the average power, divided by delta V RMS cosine of phi, cosine of phi is equal to the I RMS, the root mean squared current. Now, at this point, there's a lot of ways that we could go, and uh, I think that the, the best way, or actually the, the way that I would go, is that we, we have an equation to solve for the current, and if we just substitute this into, that equa into the current in our first equation, then we should be all right. So if we, we have to, of course, say that this is I RMS and this is delta V RMS. So R is equal to delta V divided by the average power divided by delta V RMS cosine phi. And so when you divide by, a, whenever you have a, a number divided by a fraction, then it's the same as multiplying by the inverse algebraically. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this by the inverse. So R is equal to delta V. And so basically what I'm saying is if I multiply this, if I multiply delta V by uh, delta V RMS cosine theta divided by P average. So this, take the inverse and multiply it by this. It's the same as dividing. So delta V times delta V RMS times delta V RMS times cosine of phi over P average. So over the average power. That's, uh, so that's the simplified version of what we did right here. And that actually ends up simplifying even further to the resistance is equal to delta V RMS squared cosine of phi over the average power. Now in our problem, it gives us the maximum vo uh, voltage instead of the RMS voltage. So we gotta, we got to convert. So the, v, the voltage RMS is equal to 
the, the max voltage divided by the square root of 2. So if we solve for the maximum voltage, or if we, if we plug this in for the RMS voltage, then we should, uh, we should be able to solve. And so what you're going to see here is that I get that the resistance is equal to the change of the, of, so is equal to V max over the square root of 2 squared cosine phi over, over the average power. And then if I take this square root, so this, uh, this right here, with the square with the squared is the same thing as saying delta, delta v max squared over the square root of two squared. So the square root and the square cancel each other out. So I get that the resistance is equal to v max squared over two times the cosine of phi. Oh, put that slash in the wrong place. Divide it by the average power. Divided by the average power, and then since this is uh, on the right on the bottom of a numerated fraction, I can actually just transfer it down to the bottom. The resistance is equal to V max squared cosine phi over the average power. And so now to get the uh, cosine equation, so if you remember from the phase diagrams, if this was our resistance and this was the capacitive induct or the inductive reactance minus the uh, capacitive reactance, then our impedance would be this angle right here. So this would be Z. And so the phase angle is, is uh, this angle right here. And so to find the angle, we would take the, the adjacent over the hypotenuse, R over Z equals cosine theta. And so R over Z in this case, R equals Z, so R over Z equals 1. So 1 is equal to cosine theta, or cosine phi in this case. So we could just replace cosine phi with the number 1, and it completely drops out of the equation. And we're left with the, the resistance is equal to V max squared divided by 2 times the average power. And the great thing is this is going to be the same equation for part A and part B. So all you got to do is take V max squared. So in my case, I had 128 for my voltage. And I'm going to square that. And then I'm going to divide it by the average power times 2. So 2 times 60. And in part A, my answer is R is equal to 136.533 ohms. And then in part B, my, my V max stayed the same. But the average power changed from 60 to 150, so 2 times 150. And then my resistance was equal to uh, 54.6133. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.